Ambassador Fabian, on a more humorous note, could you share some diplomatic gaffes or jokes that you remember? Well, let me share with you something of very recent origin. Uh, when the Arab Spring, as we all know, started in uh, Tunisia uh, in December 2010, and there were large demonstrations against President Ben Ali, and at that time, uh, when uh, there was good reason to believe that uh, President Ben Ali might uh, fall, the French Foreign Minister, uh, Michelle uh, Elio Marie, she went to Tunisia and on her return to Paris uh, in the National Assembly, she made the astounding statement that uh, France was prepared to send uh, expertise to put down the revolt in Tunisia. And uh, as we all know, after Ben Ali fell, it was the turn of uh, the French foreign minister to lose her job. And once again, you see, what happened was that the new foreign minister in Tunisia, uh, Ambassador Oanes, uh, he went to Paris and he made a statement that uh, 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 that Michel uh, Elio Marie was a friend of Tunisia. And then what happened? There were while there were protests, and he lost his job. So diplomats have to be very careful in uh, saying what they say. Now, as regards jokes, uh, there is a joke about. Uh, President Kennedy and Prime Minister Khrushchev. That is, I believe it was in 1961, after uh, the American uh, reconnaissance plane pilot uh, Francis Gary Powers was, sh you know, uh, shot down in the Soviet Union. Uh, the two leaders met in Vienna. And the story goes like this. Uh, they were having dinner, just the two of them. And uh, the Austrian Foreign Office had uh, sort of uh, infiltrated, the Austrian Secret Service had infiltrated the hotel. And the bearers were, who were serving the dinner, they were actually Secret Service agents so that they could eavesdrop into the conversation. So the conversation between Kennedy and Khrushchev went like this. Khrushchev started boasting that uh, Soviet Union had people who could run after a sip of wine, he said, 100, 200 kilometers an hour. And he asked Kennedy whether Americans could do it. So Kennedy said, no, not 200. Then Khrushchev said, Soviet Union can uh, bring back to life someone who is dead. Again, Kennedy was asked, and he said, no. Then the bearer came with more wine, and Kennedy asked the bearer, what do you think? If the Soviet Union can uh, bring back the dead, what would happen? Then the Secret Service man said, well, if uh, Stalin is brought back to life, Khrushchev will run not 200 kilometers an hour, he will run 1,000 kilometers an hour. And both of them laughed at it. And that is the beauty of it.